So this is our compound machine by me. I'm Nellie. I'm Julie. So it's called the Herminator 3000. Nice. And the lead engineers are me and Julie. And our firm name is Foxlow. So I put the front view, side view, uh, full view, and back view on this. And then this is our design brief. It's pink. Yes. <laughs> Project name, the Herminator. Our client company is Harmonious Capensis. Our target consumer is Herman the hamster. What's Harmonious Capensis mean? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what? I it, was it was Herman Honey Badger. Oh. No, it was Harmonious Capensis. No, it's, it's, her, it's Honey Badger. I did not put the picture. That's <laughs> what it meant. Capensis is this, the, the name for Honey Badger. Okay, never mind. Okay. Well, now we know. It's a big problem statement. Okay. Herman the hamster is having some troubles. His owner, Herman the physics teacher, refuses to give him food because he is too fat. Oh my so, God. so because of this, Herman the physics teacher has placed Herman the hamster's food 12 inches above him. Herman the hamster needs to get his food, or else he'll die. <laughs> Herman the hamster has requested us, the engineers, through hamster speak, to create a compound machine that will elect him. Herman the hamster weighs one kilogram, up 12 inches to get his food. So the criteria and constraints were boxed by two weeks. We had to lift one kilogram weight, 12 inches. We needed uh, three simple machines to make a compound machine. Uh, we had to have an IMA of at least three, and it had to be under $3 million. Okay, this is, these are our designs. This is design one. Um, these are gears up here. Um, I don't really know what we were doing down there. Um, uh, this is design two. These are the gears, and then there's a pulley there. Um, this is design three. There's a pulley, and there are gears, and there's a lever, um, lever, lever, lever. Um, this one obviously wouldn't work because of reasons. Um, and then this is our last one that we ended up deciding on doing. We have a sprocket, we have a wheel and axle, which is connected to a movable pulley, which will pull the weight up. So this is our decision, decision matrix, and we decided to do number four, as we just showed you. This is the best option. Meet the display. So the pulley IMA is two because there are two strings. Um, the through ratio of the sprocket, it's 30 teeth over 18 teeth, which got us to 1.7. Um, the IMA of the wheel and axle was calculated using the diameter of the wheel, which is 9, and the diameter of the axle, which is 1.5. Um, divide those together, you get an IMA of 6. Um, so the overall IMA is the pulley IMA times the gear ratio times the IMA of the wheel and axle, which is 20.4. Uh, the overall AMA is the weight, 9.81 over the effort force, which we calculated to be 0.73, which gave us an AMA of 13.4. the efficiency, we divide the AMA with the AMA times 100, and we get 66% efficiency, with a cost of 1,022,000. 1, Going to do a demonstration? Yes. Okay. All right. To do, do the honors. It's like why the efficiency is so good you can't hardly even hear it. <laughs> Put together nice. There we go. Excellent. Nice job. And very pink.